Thursday night in Nashville in a game between the Predators and the Edmonton Oilers, Oilers forward Connor McDavid received a minor penalty for roughing. As the video shows, Nashville's Michael Granlin was tied up with McDavid and fell, pulling the stick out of McDavid's hand as he went down. Now stickless, McDavid performed a shoulder check both ways before reaching the puck. He saw Matt Benning approaching, got low, and prepared for contact. Benning is playing this perfectly. He's low, his stick is on the ice in one hand. He's completely puck-focused with his approach to contact. McDavid counters by exploding upward and outward into him. This is a so-called reverse hit, which to me is another unnecessary term in hockey that confuses people into thinking there's different rules that apply. But a reverse hit is simply just a hit like any other. One player initiating contact into another player, and it's up to the player delivering the check to do it safely. Look how low McDavid is when Benning gets there. He's in a great position to shield the puck legally, and he's fully allowed to push Benning off. And if I were him, I would too. It's puck protection 101. But McDavid doesn't just go out, he goes up too. His shoulder shrugs up needlessly. Right here, the C on McDavid's jersey is lined up with the top of the blue section of the left arm of Benning's jersey. Fractions of a second later, at contact, it's all the way up above the five on Benning's left arm. That's a significant difference in a short period of time. And McDavid's shoulder is well above that C, now being guided into Benning's head. McDavid coming off the ice is definitely a result of contact. He didn't jump or throw the elbow or anything, but he did rise up unnecessarily prior to contact as well, creating the easily preventable potential for head contact. From these two angles in real time, it looks clean as can be, shoulder to chest. But here, you can see the upward shrug. It's one of those plays where I can see why it maybe wouldn't have been called in real time depending on the angle of view, but I also like that it was called. And I can see this not being a finer suspension, but I can also see why it might rise to the level of supplemental discipline too. It is understandable for plays that aren't penalties in the moment to still be suspended after the fact. Because to me, the on-ice officials and the Department of Player Safety are two separate entities with two different purposes. I'd consider this a hockey play gone wrong, personally, that does warrant supplemental discipline, because I just think the amount of shoulder elevation at impact is too avoidable to ignore, both in this case and for setting the tone for future similar incidents. Tough call would suspend Connor McDavid of the Edmonton Oilers one game for an illegal check to the head.